Good morning from Arches National Park. We're on our way to our first hike of the day. The sun is already out. We got a little bit of a late start today. I think it's about like 8.30 right now. Yeah, and we grabbed some coffee in town. It's just a drive up called Snake Oil Coffee. So we're fueling up with our caffeine and we're feeling good this morning. It is Labor Day weekend, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a little bit busy, but we're gonna see as much as we can today. I feel free like a bird singing in the trees. Up in the clouds, never gonna leave. I got this magic coming over me. I breathe in the moment. Some little fun facts for you. This is one of the longest rock spans in the world. And in the 90s, part of it fell, so they had to reroute the trail just for safety reasons. So you can't walk underneath it anymore. Yeah, and they don't know how long it's gonna be here for, so it's cool that we got to see it while it's still standing. Because we know it's true And I'll love you Even if you're feeling blue As the night finds the morning And the sun finds the moon Love will find a way to say I do Say I do Only taste of the slot canyons here this time, I think. Careful. <laughs> Gotta know your limitations. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel myself like sliding backwards. All like sand on here. We just wrapped up at Sand Dune Arch. It's only about 0.2 miles from the parking area, so it's a nice and short little trail. There's a lot of great photo opportunities there. And we met two friends from the DC area. Shout out to Michelle and Jessica if you guys are watching this. But yeah, I think we're about to hit the road and find some more trails. And then right across the parking lot is the trailhead for Double Arch, which is the tallest arch in the park. I just had to show you guys the entrance to Arches because it is so backed up. Early morning or late afternoon at any park is definitely the way to go. So we're gonna go back and swim for a bit and then I think we're gonna try to come back into the park before sunset. Suckers. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> just kidding. Gonna... Suckers. Oh my gosh, it's even worse than I thought. Feels so good. It's the most refreshing thing. There's only like three other people in here, but we feel awkward vlogging. We're not used to this yet. Show me a trick. One, two, three. <laughs> Pretty good. All right, so the sun is about to set here at Arches National Park. So we decided to drive back in for one more view tonight and we came to Balance Rock. How cool is this behind us? This thing defies gravity and I don't know how it's standing, but it is. So Balance Rock is really easy to access. You just drive off the main road into the parking area and walk out of your car and here you are. And this is such a great place to be for sunset because the sun just illuminates the rocks at this hour. And it's not as popular as Delicate Arch for sunset, which will be doing that tomorrow morning so stick around for that but yeah this is just absolutely beautiful. so beautiful and then there's also people up on the balance rock watching the sunset which looks like it would be amazing And I 
drop my cell phone behind the seats and Laurel's trying to find it, but no luck. <laughs> it's like wedged behind. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna look for some tongs in our kitchen. Where? Oh, here. Try to, try to wedge them down. This isn't gonna work. The tongs are even too thick. Oh, that's bad. I got it. <laughs> I found my phone. Oh my gosh. Ew, it's so dirty. It's so dirty back there. I wonder what else is, I'm gonna go hunting for treasure <laughs> because I think there's other things back there too. Okay, I think this is all for tonight. Uh, so good night. We're gonna get some sleep and wake up and go hiking tomorrow morning. up before the sun was out. We drove about 30 minutes to get to the Delicate Arch Trailhead and there's a bunch of cars in the parking lot already. We thought we would be like one of the first ones. Yeah, it's almost full. So we heard in the middle of the day yesterday people were saying that they had closed the trail because the parking lot was so full. So this is definitely one to do first thing in the morning. Yeah, but these views are amazing and I can't wait till the sun comes out. delicate arch before because it is on the Utah license plate it's also on some of the welcome to Utah signs and it's just the most famous arch here in arches So we made it to Doe Birds. We had seen them on Instagram and they're really famous here in the Moab area for their cronuts. It looks like it's a mixture of a croissant and a donut. And they say they sell out every day so you have to get here early. And here we are thinking that we're, you know, okay because we got here at like 9.30 after our hike and they sold out already, but I think it's cause it's a holiday today. Maybe, yeah. I was like, what time do you normally sell out? And he said, not this early, but. So yeah, no cronuts, we're a little bit bummed, but we got some good donuts to try. Oh, so. uh, yeah. That looks this one's fancy. This is um, an orange walnut. Is there an orange in there? Oh yeah, it, it fell, fell off. off. There you it's go. so cute. Look at that. And so I got a banana Nutella. That looks so good. So yeah, cheers. Let's cheers. try them out. Mm. Mm. That's a really good donut. Mm. Oh, very tasty. The only thing that's like a little off-putting for me is these are banana chips, so it's like oh. really crunchy with your donut, but yeah. the flavor is so good. Mine's really good. It's a... This is more crumbly. It's a cake donut, so it's like more dense. Yours, mm -hmm. I like... Yours is a yeast donut, I mm -hmm. guess. I like yeast donuts better. No trade? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're like crunchy mm. banana chips. We're making a mess in the van. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Do you like that one? The cream is really good. I didn't try the cream. Mm. Don't eat it all. 
try it. Mm. Uh, the cream is the cream makes it. Mm -hmm. These are so good. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you guys are in the Moab area, checking out Arches National Park, you have to come to Doe Birds. You have something there. You have stuff all over your mouth. Right there. <laughs> okay. Got it? Mm hmm But um yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we weren't gonna tell you, but we got a third donut. We were like, just don't tell just don't tell them. <laughs> but I wanna try it. Well that one's a fritter, so oh, we'll let so you know how it is, I guess. It's a chocolate cinnamon fritter. It just looked really good. I mean, everything in there, I was like, just give me one of everything. Mm. Is it the winner? No, but it's so good. <laughs> Is this? Mm. I oh, like. I like that kind of donut. Yeah. But no. Oh, what is like, in there? It looks like a cinnamon roll. That tastes like fall. It's so good to try it with their coffee. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That's the winner for me. That's so good. So yeah, we're consuming all the calories we just burned this morning and then some but this, this is the best <laughs> this is the best way to end our little trip to arches national park we feel like in 24 hours we saw a lot of the park yeah i feel like 24 hours was okay for this park mm -hmm. zion we felt like we needed a lot more yeah i think this is going to end our vlog here because we're about to hit the road and we have to drive about four and a half hours today to our next destination, which we're not gonna tell you what it is. So you just have to hit that subscribe button and like. I don't even remember where we're going next right now, <laughs> yeah. so. So just hit that subscribe button, like the video. I guess I'll do the driving since Laurel doesn't know where <laughs> we're going, but we will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Yeah, see you then. Is that good? Uh-huh. So put me on a train, I don't care where it's going. Fly me on a plane, maybe out to Wyoming. An RV, no plans, just you and me I need to go somewhere